Where do we come from? One of the oldest questions in human history, it has been attempted to be answered by all branches of knowledge, including philosophy, theology, and science. The Big Bang Theory is currently the most widely accepted theory for how the universe came into being. The Big Bang is currently the most widely accepted theory for the origin of the universe, although it's incredibly simple to misunderstand. First of all, the universe did not originate from a single point and doesn't have a center. The Big Bang occurred simultaneously everywhere in time, not a single place in time. Where did we learn this? Watch till the end to know all the details. And don't forget to subscribe. At large scales, galaxies are moving away from one another, indicating that the universe is expanding. Additionally, using satellites like the Cosmic Background Explorer, the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, and Planck, we have discovered the residual heat from the Big Bang that permeates the entire universe. The deepest infrared image of the universe that Webb has published, however, has recently given rise to internet theories claiming that it refutes the idea of the Big Bang. But it simply isn't the case. Here's the issue. According to current understanding, the first galaxies should be quite tiny and have a variety of morphologies. However, because they appear to resemble fully formed galaxies, some have argued that the galaxies in this photograph are much older than being the Big Bang Theory would allow. This is what all the hubbub was about. So we can use the wavelength of light to determine the age of a galaxy. A galaxy's light will appear redder the further away it is. A drop in frequency and photon energy is indicated by an increase in wavelength, which is referred to as redshift. The most distant galaxies in the JWST photographs are currently visible as they were 400 to 500 million years after the universe's formation, according to the Big Bang Theory. The new JWST photos, according to the researchers, show at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theorists projected at redshifts greater than 10, implying that many big galaxies may have formed quickly. That implies there was no Big Bang, which is incredibly improbable. Let's pause here and speculate what may occur if the scientific community accepted the Big Bang Theory's shortcomings. Then, a new theory about how the universe came to be must exist. One conceivable explanation is plasma filamentation, which has been studied for about 50 years. In fact, the procedure may be explained by using laboratory-tested physical concepts. Plasma, an electrically conductive gas, makes up the majority of the matter in space, comprising stars and interstellar space. Only the Hubble-Redshift relation would still need a novel physical mechanism to explain the energy loss that happens as light travels over such enormous distances. One of the fundamental plasma processes that has been identified and studied by scientists is plasma filamentation. Electric currents and the magnetic fields they produce gather plasma in the lace-like network of filaments that may be seen across the universe at all scales. One of the fundamental aspects that gave birth to planets, stars, galaxies, and other formations is plasma filamentation. In the quest to produce artificial fusion energy, plasma filamentation is also essential. Does that mean that the Big Bang Theory can be refuted by a galaxy that old? Possibly not. It's simply too early to draw conclusions. One hypothesis is that there might be dust in the space between the Webb telescope and the far-off galaxy. Red light is known to go through dust, whereas blue light is scattered away. The reports of distant galaxies may therefore be the result of their light shifting toward the red and infrared due to intervening dust. Another possibility might be that the telescope's online optics and electronics have not yet been properly calibrated because they have only recently begun to function. However, it's also possible that the tails are accurate and the galaxies really are that old and fully formed. But none of this disproves the theory of the Big Bang. Simply put, it might imply that galaxies originate more swiftly than previously believed. And if that's the case, researchers would have to make some adjustments. Contrary to popular belief, the Webb telescope wasn't built to observe the Big Bang at its most immediate moment. No telescope can accomplish that. Webb was made instead to observe the earliest things that emerged as the universe began to calm down following the Big Bang. We've never observed a temporal period like that, so whatever Webb discovers, there will be almost probably alter our perception of the cosmos. It would be premature to declare that the Big Bang idea has been refuted by the preliminary Webb findings. It's simply too soon. By exposing us to fresh perspectives on the cosmos, the JWST is merely carrying out its intended function. It has already prompted scientists to make predictions about what would have happened in the absence of the Big Bang. Comment below and let us know what you think about the plausibility of the Big Bang Theory. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!